Welcome to this episode of Wine, Women, and Wedges. I'm Melanie Gallia, your local real estate expert, and I am with my co-host, head professional Jason Vaughn from the Fort McMurray Golf Club. Jason, today's episode is going to be very different. We are going to have some rapid fire terminology about golf. That sounds fun. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. All right, Jason, we're gonna do this episode a little bit different. I've had some, we've had some requests for, because not everybody realizes what all the different terms mean in golf, and there's a lot to know in this game. And our job, our whole commitment this entire season has to, to make it easier for you mm. to understand the game of golf. So I've got questions. Fire away. All right, he says he's ready. All right, start. what's a par? Let's start with what, very simple. What is a par? Perfect, that's a great, great question. Uh, there's three sorts of pars. There's a par three, a par four, and a par five out there on the golf course. Basically what par is, is the required amount of strokes that you should take on that hole. Okay, so we're on black bear six. This is a par three. Mm -hmm, for sure. So it takes three strokes to get here. Ideally. Ideally. So what if I shot two, got here in two strokes? Okay. I would give you a high five and we'd call that a birdie. Woo! That's one under par. Awesome, okay. So on the ninth hole, I got my very first one of these and it's called an eagle. What's that mean? That's even better than a birdie. That's two under par, so that's an eagle. That means we're two under the required amount of strokes possible. So it's awesome. two on a par four. Okay, I've got more questions. You got more answers? Fire. Okay, what's an albatross? That's a tricky one and a very rare one. It's when you get three under par on any get any particular hole. So like a one on a par four or more commonly maybe a two on a par five. Gotcha. Why do people say four? Well, <laughs> we're what? probably not going to make a birdie or an eagle when we say four, <laughs> okay. but it basically means when we hit a wayward driver, a wayward shot, and it's going towards another group of golfers, Okay. we yell four and that means take cover. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> but don't say duck, say four. <laughs> four. Okay. Okay, I got a good one. Ready? Okay. Sandbagger. That's an interesting one. It is. Basically, that's one where someone who's not maybe so honest about their handicap or doesn't even keep a handicap, so when they enter a tournament, they always win the net prize because they enter a handicap or a score that's higher than they actually probably shoot. So it's not a good thing to be a sandbagger? It's not really a good thing. Everyone should keep a handicap. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, I've got more questions. Fire. All right. So, Jason, let's talk about the tees. A tee. There's yeah. two tees on the golf course. There's a wood or plastic tee that we put in the ground to tee your golf ball up on. Okay. And we can only use that on one spot on the golf course, which is the tee box, which is between the stakes where we hit our very first shot of the hole. Okay, great. Okay, what's the rough? The rough is, again, something where we don't want to go, but it's a longer grass that we see out there on the golf course that's off the fairway. And what's the fairway? Into the next question. The fairway is a short grass. It's right down the middle of the fairway usually, and it's the stuff we want to hit out because it's shorter. So sometimes people call it the short stuff. Exactly, exactly. just because it's literally it's shorter than the rough, right? Okay, perfect. Okay, so the green. The green. It's even shorter than the fairway. It's where we putt on, and it's uh, where the flag stick is, and we want to get on that green as soon as we possibly can. Excellent. Okay. Um, bunker. What's the bunker? Bunker, sand trap, there's multiple terms for it, but it, it's the sand around the green, it's the sand out in the fairways. It's, the beach. It's the beach, it's, it's the, the beach. sand. We've had a few episodes on the sand already. Yeah, we don't wanna be there. No. Okay, what's a hazard? A hazard, there's multiple hazards on the golf course. The most common ones that we all know of are the yellow and red stakes on the golf course. If we go in there, we are in the hazard. One that we maybe not don't all know about is the sand trap or the beach or the bunker. That's also a hazard. Right. So. Let's talk about some of the markings that we may find on the actual golf course. Okay, so sometimes I see sprinkler head and there's a number on it. What's that mean? Mm -hmm. Basically that number is for our uh, ease. It's the exact number to the middle of the green. Okay, so that'll help us with our club selection. Exactly, if we see 142, that means it's 142 in the middle of the green. Makes us pick our club a lot easier. Awesome. At the Fort McMurray Golf Course, you will find some colored cement circles in the middle of the fairway. Mm -hmm. What do those mean? Those means the distance to the middle of the green. Okay, so let's go colors. Ready? Fire. Fire. Yellow. 250. Blue. 200. White. 150. Red. 100. 
Okay, so now here's some good trivia. Mm -hmm. There are some poles in the ground. For sure. There's two different colors here at the Fort Murray Golf Course. The first one is black and white. What's the distance from that? 150 to the middle of the green, and it's a good tool to aim to when you're laying up. What's the reddish and white post? 50 yards out. All right, ladies, so that's our rapid fire. Now let's get to the best part, Jason. Wine time. Wine. Jason, I think that those terms are really gonna help the ladies out mm -hmm. and understanding the game of golf and help them with yardages so that they're able to play just a little bit more efficiently. I think so too, it'll be very handy while walking around the course. Excellent. So if the ladies have any questions about any of this, how can they get more information? For sure, you know the drill. Come see any of us in the pro shop. We have three highly trained golf professionals willing to help you out with whatever you need. Excellent. And if you have any questions about what's happening in the real estate market in Fort McMurray, give me a call or check out my Facebook page. And best part. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. again. Mm. See. Ah, wonderful. See you next week, ladies. See you next week. I'm Melanie Gallia. <sighs> Keep on to say. You're a real estate expert. Thank you. Okay. It seems like we're too close together talking, but it looks fine on there. Right? It does look fine on there. Yeah. yeah. But it's a bit weird. It's like I'm right up in your grill. <laughs> You're like, game face, ready to go. Like, I got the buzzer. Okay. I don't like <laughs> I'm thinking about your grill. Don't worry about your teeth. Okay. <laughs> I got this one. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a buzzer. Oh we can do it all in one. We can do thing. it all in one. We're going to roll. Ready? Okay. What is. White. Wait. Okay. Red. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's coming. Yellow, blue, white. Red. Red. Okay. And then the stakes. Then the stakes. So Jason Vaughn is going to work on his grip on his golf class. His golf class. His ah. Oh. You got black and white for 150. Okay. And red and white for the 50. Thank you. Let's start with yellow. 250 yards away from the middle of the pin. From the middle of the green. Okay. Right, the pin. Yeah, okay, let's start Green. It. Yeah. <laughs> you can't lecture me and then hold it like a claw. Excellent. I know I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Your golf class. Is that what you call it? Yeah, I guess. Classy. Yeah.